Greetings, colonist. Due to a catastrophic failure, your consciousness has been uploaded to the ship's neural network, and your former body has been discarded. Sorry for the inconvenience. The ship is in your hands. G'day, mate, and welcome back to Star Days with me, Jitty. And today, um, we're, we're, we're trying to take more steps, more steps, many, many more small steps to become, um, well, self-sufficient, self-sufficient, self-sufficient sweatshop. Yes, that's what we're trying to aim for. Uh, today, today, uh, well, first thing is, uh, we've almost, almost, almost got to Diderot, 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 uh, which is good because it has uranium, copper, and rock. Um, it has, what, nine, no, 850 total resources, so it's going to take our little ship, what, two, yeah, two trips, uh, and we can't go there yet because, well, we're still drifting, um, Cancel. Oh, that, that that works. Uh, enter planet. Uh, launch the crew. Okay, uh, so we're going to send the meat bags off to go grab some resources. At the same time, uh, we, we did set up the bedroom, new bedroom, uh, last episode. And, well, I'm moving in some of the pot plants and the other stuff from the old bedroom. Uh, also, this has already got oxygen and some temperature, so we're just going to also... Well, we're going to move in the toilets. Uh, if, if, if they don't want to freeze their ass off to go to the toilet, well, bad luck. Uh, yeah, it, it's fine. Everybody needs a good ass freezing every now and then. A couple of other things I need to do. I need to grab the beacons. Uh, and we're going to put in four more of those. It's a little bit too much, maybe. Well, I, 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 I need to get trading done. Okay, I desperately need to get trading done. I also need a wall socket probably there so they get power. Uh, I need to get trading done. I need to get a lot of trading done. Uh, we have a few shortages uh, uh, more than a few shortages we have sort by name uh we have a problem with silicon we're running out desperately running out uh which is a bit of an issue so i need to trade for it um that's really the only place i can get it from uh yeah i i, I can turn on the collectors and we are going to set some of these collectors uh to grab silicon but the problem is it costs 66 kilowatts, which is an awful lot of power. And if we look at our power grid currently, we have max production. Okay, so our energy consumption is 1.86. And every single time I turn on one of these, it's 0 .6, uh, 0 0.06. So if I turn on you, 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 and you, we will probably be right near our max production. I can probably turn on one more. You're not built yet, but I could probably turn on one more. Okay, uh, we do have more solar panels scheduled to go in, so hopefully they get done, like, now. Now is a great time to have them done. Uh, yes, uh, hopefully... Oh, well, that, that worked. That didn't work. Okay, all right. Uh, we also have some shortages. Um, as you can see, we have no copper wire, we have no water, we have no wood, we have no microchips. We also have inefficient research because, well, we just can't throw enough power at research. You're using 250 kilowatts by yourself. Battery charge level. Yeah, that's going down. Yeah, we're gonna set the research station to use not a lot of power uh, for all of them. Um, it means research is gonna be way slower, but I don't really mind. We don't really need advanced propulsion just yet. Okay, uh, other thing I wanna do is I wanna expand into this room. Um, really 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 badly uh yes i want to expand in this room i want to well i want to we have a little bit of production a little bit of production but clearly not enough what i want to do is i want to basically turn all of this and even into here into one giant production room um which means well i need the robots to actually get some of this stuff done uh, so I need these walls done, please. Uh, also, I've turned off their ability to put things in other storage containers, which is a little bit unfortunate because they're still collecting some stuff from, well, right across the map. Uh, we're also putting in a couple more batteries. Hopefully that helps out. But um, yeah, we have a problem with, well, too many things and not enough robots. Yeah, same problem I generally have. Okay, I don't need, what don't I need? Yeah, can you power that? Can you power that and you power that and therefore you don't have to power that and you don't have to power that which means you can power that great uh also going to move the nutrient extractor outside uh oh 
move, move. Uh, also going to move the uh, recycler outside because both these buildings produce heat. Not a lot of heat, not compared to a furnace, but um, they definitely produce heat. And like I said, I want to make this uh, part of, well, part of one giant room um, that we're going to oxygenate and we're going to actually let meat bags into. Uh, can I close that vent? Yes. Okay, uh, so our plan is, bear with me, bear with me, bear with me, uh, our plan is to crank up the priority on that power plug, that power plug, that power plug, and that power plug, and uh, then we have limited oxygen with limited heat. Okay, that's fine. Uh, limited works for me. We're going to remove all those walls. Also going to remove all those walls. Our plan is to put a storage here, which won't fit. And the next storage will go there and won't fit. Let's remove the walls first. Then we can make decisions about storage. Okay, uh, we are going to move grinders across. Uh, I need... Wow. Well, we'll just schedule them up. Okay, so we're going to put a grinder here. We're going to put our next grinder here. We're going to put our next, next grinder here. And I want these as close to storage as possible because, well... They create a mess, um, and if they're close to storage, hopefully the bots can just stay in the middle and just fill things one at a time. Uh, so I don't need this built. Vegeta. Oh, don't move things. Build things. <sighs> yeah, it's unpowered because you didn't build the power sockets. All right. Uh, yeah, now you can build it. Great. Uh, you were meant to be doing auto connect upgrades. Stop producing. Can I make you get plastic instead? Uh, I'll... Plastic instead. A lot of plastic. Because we're going to need a lot of plastic in a second. Alright. We need to plug you in. We need to then plug you in. We need to plug you in. We need to plug you in. We can then plug you in. And I can plug in that door. Which means you no longer need to power that door. Okay. Uh, from here, we're going to put another power socket with another power socket. Uh... All right, so we've got a bit of a plan so far. I want more storage. We're going to have mass storage in this room. It's going to become pretty vital that we have a lot of storage. Uh, eventually, we'd have a storage there, a storage there, and then the last storage goes there, which means you, I want to rotate and put there instead. And you, I want to rotate and put there. Uh, I built that. I don't want to build that. I want to move that. Yes, much better. Okay, uh, so... More storage. Uh, we're going to move the refineries because the refineries don't make heat. So they can go in the same room that the meat bags can access. We also want to change out all these reinforced walls for normal walls, please. Because the bots don't have nearly enough to do. All right. Uh, also means that uh, you would go here and you would go here. Also means that that power socket has a partner power socket there with a partner power socket there and that powers up the whole room all right plants uh, not enough cpu okay so we're obviously pulling too much power yeah okay so because we're pulling too much power let's change you 96 percent okay let's wait for you to finish and then we'll change you back to copper and hopefully uh, we can keep the power running to the bots. All right. Speaking of bots, uh, one thing I can do is these modules. I can change the energy node and I can crank them up one. So when I crank these up one, it means that if we have a power deficit, in theory, they have a higher chance of getting the power. Uh, at least that's the plan. Uh, the other thing I need to do whilst we're over here is we did last episode set up the ability to close that interface uh no we obviously haven't built one yet uh construction robot there we go reactor efficiency upgrade it's getting there all right so you're making plastic you are making auto connect upgrade okay all right all right so we've we've rearranged this room a little bit let's rearrange it some more with one there and one there and one there okay storage plus grinders plus uh refineries okay and do we have any beds yet can I have these guys put in? Thank you. I still need to set that they all get harvested, but we'll get there bit by bit. All right. Ooh, so many things going on. All right. Uh, next thing I need to do is I want to move this manufacturing outside. 
I want to put it all in this room, along with I want to put in the fabricators. The fabricators are probably going to wait a minute or two, but I want to get them done as well. Uh, can we clear that really quickly and just double check if it already is turned on? All right. So I want to put them out there. But uh, my very first priority is, uh, well, silicon. Silicon. It still ke keeps going down. So I want to call in some traders. We're going to have an ore trader plus a general trader, plus a oil trader. Uh, also, just in case, I'm going to set up another ore trader. And we're going to crank the priority on these, so hopefully somebody comes and builds them. Uh, and then we're going to probably put in another, probably another generalist, another ore trader. Uh, actually, can I just bring this up? Uh, let's go with ore, generalist, and ore. Yeah, because there's no guarantee you're going to have silicon on a ore trader trade list. Thingamajiggy Bob. Okay, uh, I need to plug that there. And what are you? You're, you're plugging that and that. Okay. You are now doing absolutely nothing. Right. Can I deconstruct you? Uh, okay. Uh, I do need to have a big power pole in here. Of course you won't reach by one top. I want to shut these vents. Uh, okay, can I... Oh, actually, I've got one over there. Can I put you here? Uh, all right, what I want to do is I want to build in this wall. I want to plug that into there and that into there and that into there. Uh, we're going to close that vent. Plug that in there and that in there. We're also going to close that vent and that vent. And then we're going to disconnect them because they don't need to remain powered. And it's way easier for me to see an unpowered vent. No. Okay. And that's it. Yeah, the doors need to have power so we can they can shut afterwards. Okay. Uh Bork! 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 Uh you are another flying robot. We're gonna give you the name Z, so you're at the bottom of our list, so we don't accidentally sell you. Alright, uh next thing is this area is now semi-oxygenated. So we're gonna of course it doesn't reach. Can you reach that one? You can. Excellent. Uh, can you reach that one? You can. All right. So we're going to set up this room to be lit, uh, light color, and paste it to all of them. All right. We have some lights. Not a lot of lights, but it's a start. Can I copy you? Can I put a light here and here and here and that there? Technically, that one and that one. All right. Uh, light color, paste all those. All right, we have lights, we have lights, we have camera, we have action. All right, next thing we need is we need to have a bunch of assemblers. Now, logically, I should build new assemblers. Definitely should do that. Uh, but I have a bunch of assemblers in here I can just steal, which is exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to start with this one. And we're going to start down here. And I'm going to have them facing in towards the middle. So we're going to grab you. You're doing gears. Gears and copper wire are... Don't take a long time to produce. So I don't mind resetting them. Uh, and losing like half the production. Uh, some things like, you know... Construction robots, which take... Uh, I have no idea. Like four days or something. Uh, reactor efficiency upgrades. They do take four days. I don't want to lose half the production on a four day item uh we're gonna put that one there your microchips 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 cleaning bot transistor you can be moved to uh okay that's lined up with the doorway but i think we're gonna move the doorway as well microchip microchip optical fiber gears we can move a gear machine uh copper wire we can move a copper wire machine yep uh microchip gears we can move another gear machine do, 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 do. Okay, so I think everybody else is doing either microchips or in you're doing cleaning bots, you're doing carrier drones, and you're going to do construction drones, which I do want to move out as well. Don't get me wrong, we're going to be moving lots of things out of this room and into this room. A, a production room, a real production room. Uh, okay, they are built, but they don't have orders. Actually, I needed to. I didn't think about that. Uh, you get power to about here. So I built the one, two, one. Okay, uh, which one are you? Cool, we're going to cancel that one. And I'm going to move you here instead. All right. So we need a merchant ship. Please, you have nothing. You literally have nothing. You have petroleum. I can sell you my petroleum. 
Great, we may make great money, but you don't have any oil I can build, so you uh, buy. So you're absolutely useless to me. Go away. Okay, and uh, Nomad, we can rename you to A, so we can sell you off. Alright, uh... They all have... Oh, sorry, set to Pro 9. Okay, um, it's set to Pro 9, the bots are busy doing other tasks. Okay, uh... Okay, so they're all doing microchips. Alright, we need another trader. Yes, yeah, so you're a general trader. Do you generally have... No, you don't generally have silicon. Great. Okay. All right. Let's look at what we're going to sell you. So we're going to sell you two A-bots because uh, they're great. Uh, they're cheap and we make good money. We're going to sell you the auto-connect upgrades because, again, we make a whole bunch of money. We're going to always sell you clothes because, well, we make money on them. Uh, this is this is how a sweatshop makes money. It's all through buying and selling and trading. Okay. Uh, all those are done. We can sell the coffee beans. I still need to set the ones up in the north to be harvested. Uh, we're going to sell you hats as well. Super profitable hats. We're going to click on the wrong things. Uh, and hats. Okay. After we sold you with the hats, uh, we can sell you bread as well. Have half the bread. We can also sell you... Soy burgers. We'll sell you half the soy burgers. Okay, so that's our sell list so far. Now, gears, we're about to start mass producing. So, I do want to sell off a good quantity of gears. Uh, now, gears, I should mention. We are selling 56 gears at $172. To replace those gears, I'd need iron. Do you sell me iron? You do not sell me iron. Worst trader ever. Okay. Uh, whoop. Uh, I would buy in iron. Iron. At $7. $4. Let's call it $4. $4. Uh, $4 for the iron, which I then sell at $172. Uh, now, the iron that I'm buying in, I would have to obviously convert into steel and then convert the steel into, into the gears but i have to do a two-step process but then i'd sell it for like 160 dollars profit it's very profitable and this is why we're going to be doing it uh do you buy copper wire you don't buy copper wire uh, we don't have any copper wire never mind uh okay in that case i think i'm done uh yeah, you don't have anything that's worth me buying. Okay, so you're going to give me another $66,000 uh, 66, to go with my 190 I've got so far. Uh, Nomad got renamed and sold instantly. Okay, all right. So first off, I need you to be powered. Cool. I need copper wire. We know I need copper wire. We know I need a lot of copper, copper wire. So we're going to set this to a, 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 a 250. Yep. And we're then going to copy that to all your friends okay next up we're going to have a, another row uh like so and this one is going to be a row of gears gears are steel which is iron which is super cheap uh again 250 all right uh merchant ship excellent do you uh, crude oil that's what i want we want all your crude oil actually let's just let's just give me one barrel of crude oil okay uh the reason i want crude oil for petroleum is one crude oil turns into two petroleum. Which means for the $300 I, I spend, I get back uh, 1.15k, which is an $845 profit. It's worth it. Uh, so we're going to buy, uh, change all of it, and we're going to uh, sell you some. Just to keep the process running. Uh, yeah. Okay, and I'll pay 100,000. I have 250, so it's okay. All right, that's going to appear somewhere. It'll go into storage eventually. All right, so we're going to have a stack of copper. Uh, we're also going to have a light, I don't know, here. Yeah, okay, we're going to have a stack of copper, plus we're going to have a stack of uh, gears. We're also, I just realized in air vent, because uh, it's probably, yeah, it's a little bit chilly. It's just, just a tiny bit chilly. Uh, actually, you have a heater, right? Yeah, can I move the heater to... You guys don't create any heat, do you? No, and you don't either. Well, try the heater down here. All right, and we'll throw a vent uh, here and another one here. Yep, yep. Uh, in the middle of nowhere. Can I cancel that? Okay. 
All right, so gears and copper wire. Uh, at the same time, solar panels are going in and they missing copper wire. We'll get the copper wire eventually. We also need to, on a whole different side project, come up here and put in a bunch of these guys for more power. We're going to need more power. The more we keep increase, increasing our production, the more power we're going to need very, very quickly. All right, uh, so microchips. I need to move out the microchip machines, but I also don't want to stop their production. Um, best way to do this. Best way to do this. Best way to do this is double check the beds. Okay. Beds, uh, you have no people, you have no people, and no people. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to deconstruct one, two, three beds and force people out of their beds into the new bedroom. Yep. That's a great start. Uh, okay. Heater. We're going to build a heater here. We're also going to need an oxygen machine. Let's build that there. Uh, I probably don't need an oxygen machine in here. You definitely don't need an oxygen, oxygen machine in every room. Uh, in fact, actually, we're just going to steal that one and put it... Here. Yeah, we're going to put that there. All right. Uh, not enough wood. Yeah, we know. We know. Uh, but I want to see the beds actually occupied. All right, uh, that still hasn't been built either. Yeah, the, the bots are... Did I screw up the... the... Hegfish, uh, you're carrying things around. Excellent. Manage worker. Uh, firefighting. Oh, repairs. Why is your repairs so high? Oh, no, repairs is meant to be that high. So, firefighting, then self-maintenance, then repairs, then construction, then demolition. Yes, okay. Well, we didn't have any outstanding repairs, so... Maybe I just loaded, overloaded them with too many build tasks. That's entirely possible. All right. Uh, heater, oxygen. Great. Uh, mini heater can stay there for right now. Uh, one thing I do want to do is I do want to rip out that whole wall. We don't need that wall anymore um, because it's going to become potentially one giant bedroom. All right. Uh, these guys. So the best way to fix this is we just set this to produce one, uh, produce one, produce one. Produce one, produce one, produce one, produce one, and optical fiber. Oops. Oh, that didn't work. And produce one. Okay. Uh, drone battery overloaded. Did. Ah! <laughs> Eliana, I just put oxygen in this room. No. That way. That way. Left click. Control left click. Move there. Yeah. Yeah, there's not a lot of oxygen in that room. Go that way. Yeah, I know. I have a fire. Tell me about it. Straight out the door. In the vacuum space. You're lighting the ground on fire. Go, 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 go. Cool, you're no longer on fire. Great. Okay, somebody else put out the fires, please. <sighs> Data join the calling. All right, we have a brand new robot. Uh, this robot we are going to actually name. Uh, it's not going to be Data. It's going to be Mucky. Uh, again, name it after one of the wonderful YouTube members. But to keep the channel ad-free, because let's be honest with nobody enjoys mid-roll ads. So, uh, anybody? Fine. I'll, 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 I'll turn off the oxygen pump. Okay, that make you happy? Okay, Skage is putting out two fires and then running. It is slightly warm in this room. Uh, still slightly warm in this room. Still slightly warm in this room. Uh, we can get rid of that. We can get rid of that. We can... Anyway. Uh, Ian is coming to do it. And uh, not assigned. You're trying to find somebody to put out the fire. Really? Because firefighting is priority number one for everybody. Drop task. Drop task. Drop task. 
Uh, drop task. Which is unfortunate because you're halfway through building that. You're also halfway through building that. But you're you're on tracks. So you're super slow. Fire's been put out. Excellent. Who put it out? The meat bags did. For fuck's sake. Assembler is idle. Uh, can we move that assembler? Uh, that assembler as well. Alright. We're going to get the assemblers out here. Uh, slowly, bit by bit. And we're going to send them up to do probably uh definitely microchips we need a bunch of microchips still coming in because well everything we're producing currently basically involves microchips uh these are so not good okay can i you have an ore trader you have a generalist and you have a generalist you are doing a nothing can i get no you uh, have an ore trader as well okay uh, more assemblers are idle. Great. You can get moved as well. And you can move as well. Okay. 88%, 67%. They're getting there bit by bit. All right. Bedroom wise. Uh, sleeping spots two. Uh, two. 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 Uh, two. Only one person's moved into the beds. Okay. Uh, the point is, I have one, two, three, four, five. Which means if everybody loses their bed, at least there is a whole double bed that they can lie diagonally across. Okay. Uh, microchips. Uh, copy those, paste those. All right. Uh, I need the last of these guys to finish off. Also, we're going to deconstruct that. Yeah, because these are all, all these old storages are set to don't allow new items, so they get pushed and forced across to the new storage. Holy shit. Ian, you're actually cleaning something. Oh, I should probably repair the ground. Uh, well, you're not repairing the ground, but I believe you were cleaning it. All right, and ship is on its way back. Okay, uh, can I move you to that room? And uh, ship is done. We've gathered all the materials. Okay, let's get out of here then. Uh, okay, so from here, next one is going to be this planet. We're going to travel here at the speed of a style's pace because, well, yeah, our engines still suck. Uh, Andrew, you could be renamed as well to Z so I don't accidentally sell you, although selling you is still on the cards. All right, so we have one more machine to go. Uh, two more machines to go. So you're doing carrier drones. Okay, so we're going to set... Ooh, actually, let's stop you producing... Let's set you to one, and let's set you to one as well. Okay, so this is the last couple of machines. So we're going to move you and put you there. We're going to move you and put you there, because we already have a full row. Uh, also means we're going to move the door up to here. That's where the main hallway is going to be. Uh, we're going to copy that assembler and paste it to its friends. Yep, and... We're going to, that's a relocation pending, yes. Okay, so that is uh, copper wire plus gears, only the one machine actually exists. Also this row, this row is gonna have to do transistors. We also need to have transistors to make microchips, so obviously they're gonna be important too. Uh, paste that to there and we can paste that to there. All right, uh, go away, go away. All right, and how do I make that box go away? Okay, click on something. All right. Okay, so that's cleared up that problem. Uh, these storages are very full. Very, very full. All right. Uh, let's look at these problems. Okay, so other problems we have. Uh, that's not built. Uh, the solar is built. And uh, these are not built. So let's max the priority on these so they get built. Uh, also max the priority on these, which were already maxed. Okay, so you have a merchant on the way. You have a merchant on the way. You three have already been set for merchants to be called. You can get moved as well and put there. That wall can get placed there. And that's our little project down here. All right. Next project we need to look at is more power. We're going to need a lot more power for what we have planned. So I'm going to remove 44 by 6. Yep. I'm going to remove all of that. 
And then in that place, we're going to put in just a solar panel or three. Now, these solar panels are going to require copper wire, a lot of it. Uh, also, they require uh, plastic and glass. So we need to get all that running. I don't have a way of making glass currently. Well, I, I do have a way of making glass. I just don't have a way of getting quartz to make the said glass. So it's something we need to keep in mind. Uh, we also are probably going to need at least possibly several teleporters in this room. Um, right, you are doing nothing. Because I also want to move them into this room. Uh, can we build one of them? Okay, so that's how we're going to set them up. All right, cancel those. You are doing nothing currently. So we're going to move you to there. Plus, we're going to move, or we're going to add a few more. Okay. Uh, I need all of these guys up and running because we're going to need to still make the auto connect upgrades because they're very profitable. Uh, plus, we're going to need to make plastic and also rubber. We obviously have petroleum here. Or, well, we have petroleum right here, so it makes sense to build these guys right here. We also need to make sure we have power, which I'm guessing there, there, and I don't know where the rest of go. Uh, okay, so that's the plan for you guys. That needs to get built. That needs to get deconstructed so I can put in more, more, more solar panels. Uh, also, we probably need another power socket there with a smelter there and there. And another power socket there, which I'm just going to cancel both those for the moment. All right. Uh, they're all waiting on either the traders to get here or a meat, uh, meat bag to actually run the machines. Okay. So uh, I don't know why these aren't actually being constructed. Okay. Transistors to there. Okay. This row transistors. So we're going to throw in that many machines. I'm going to have you... So you're doing transistors, 50 of. Uh, we're going to set you to transistors as well. 50, I think. We're going to set you to optical fiber, which again needs silicon. Uh, 20. Uh, optical fiber, 20. And optical fiber, 20. Okay. Uh, you... No, you. You have already dished out a reactor efficiency upgrade, which means... I have at least one spare. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go reactor efficiency, uh, reactor efficiency, reactor efficiency, uh, reactor efficiency, reactor efficiency, uh, efficiency, efficiency, and efficiency. Not that I have that many reactor efficiencies. The idea is one will go in and then the rest will complain that they're missing and then they'll get delivered as they get manufactured. At least that's the plan. And this is the point I was worried about. We're out of silicon. Because silicon is also required for transistors. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, not a petroleum. Yep. Saw that one coming as well. Uh, even though these guys are flat out. They'll, they'll, they'll get there eventually, but they're flat out currently. All right. Uh, oh, all the power's on the wrong side. No, JD, you idiot. Okay. Uh, move that to there, move that to there, move that to there, that to there, that to there, that to there, and that to there. Okay. Uh, see, don't have reactor efficiency. Okay. Uh, now, power-wise, we have uh, max production 2.6, energy consumption 2.3. All right. So that means I should be able to change you across to silicon. And you across to silicon and power wise, if we just run the game forward a little bit, 2.4. Okay, so silicon and silicon and 2.56. Uh, one more 2.61. Okay, that's about as far as I can push it for right now. Uh, we, we will get there as more solar panels come online. Well, the solar panels are built, we just need to actually have the power points because I put them in the wrong spot, uh, which is, you know, a horrible mistake. Uh, can I auto connect? Yeah, as these guys go in, we, we'll get more of a middle. It'll be fine. All right. Uh, these still need to be built. You're going to be doing gears as well. And you're going to be doing microchips. 
which is a problem because we just don't have the materials. All right, so that's big plan number one. Uh, this is slowly getting here as well. Everybody's been kicked out of their beds. Uh, Michael is sharing a bed. Okay, G-Man Gaming is a female attracted to men. And Michael is a male attracted to nobody. Uh, poor G-Man. Ha has no idea. Okay. Uh, reserved. Okay. Uh, Skage has Skage. Uh, who is male attracted to anything that moves. And uh, Benedict is male attracted to male. Great. Uh, that's a wonderful pair. I don't know if they're going to repopulate the world quite the way I wanted, but um, it is fine. Okay. Spurgis is sleeping by himself. Uh, that one's empty. This is Tim and Victimizer. So Victimizer is female attracted to men. Excellent. And uh, back into here. Uh, and Tim is running science. Uh, he doesn't know the power's being turned off. Is a man attracted to a woman. So that has a possibility of a match made in heaven. I don't know if we're going to get, um, I don't know, small, small, useless meat bags out of the deal or not. But, um... It has a possibility. Uh, I can disconnect that. We're going to set you to be plastic. Yeah, 50 plastic. Uh, I'm going to set you to be rubber. 50. Uh, I'm going to set you to be auto connect upgrade. Uh, produce forever. Auto connect upgrade. Produce forever. Okay, so that's these basically superseded. Uh, we're going to set you to do one i'm going to set you uh, to do one i'm going to set you to do one and definitely going to set you to do one because you're 96 percent all right so we should be able to get the transistors and the microchips we should be able to get this row up and running uh fabricator is idle that's exactly what i'm looking for uh pick that up and put it in the next row uh solar panels are half in helps if that gets plugged in and plug that in plug that in plug that in plug that in and when they disconnect or deconstruct this we should uh be able to hold it 120k uh 112k rather and i have enough money to afford that without a problem okay uh i can sell off some bread uh great i can sell off coffee beans excellent uh we can sell off gears nine uh doesn't really make much of a difference uh we can sell off some soy burgers we can sell off you don't buy copper wire which is unfortunate not that i think i have any uh okay what else do you have um okay so for every gear i sell let's go to gears uh uh i can sell nine of those for 1.6k which means in theory i should buy nine iron uh for a grand total of 40 bucks uh realistically i'm going to buy uh all your iron yeah okay uh copper how are we for copper 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 uh 300 300 uh yeah that goes up and down as i keep selling it or building with it uh we might I have 50k. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to select a all your copper as well. It's only 166. It's not a lot, but it's some. And lithium, yeah, we're not really using it. It goes into batteries. Uh, so we're going to execute that trade, which is going to simplify my life so much. All right. With that done, we should... Oops, if you guys actually get plugged in. We should, 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 should... Uh, be fine to make microchips, like a lot of microchips, also the optical fiber, all all sorts of things, all sorts of things that I was concerned about. Also means that we can put in another row of these guys uh, without a hassle, well, providing I have the power to run them, but um, we're going to end up swapping this line back to copper. I mean, maybe we'll have two of iron and two of copper. I don't know. Uh, I'm definitely going to plug you in. We're going to put you there and you there with you there and you there because we're going to need more smelting power and uh you're so hang on you were gonna do i don't remember uh we're just gonna set you to auto connect uh produce forever yep not enough optical fiber ah 
Okay. Uh, the good news is we can produce that now if these machines get built. Uh, yes. Uh, can we get these done? Thank you. Uh, we also need to pop that to there. Yeah, we're going to have to copy that a few times. Oh, we got a new one. We got a new one. This is what I'm waiting for. Uh, okay, so we have another tract bot. Now, another tract bot I want to hold my hand. I want to hold on to. Uh, same story. We're going to name this after a wonderful YouTube member. So I'm going to name this after Blackwind, who has been. Pretty sure he's my oldest standing YouTube supporter. He's been with me for a while. A while. Uh, so thank you, Blackwind, for being a long, long time supporter. Very, very, very much appreciated. And uh, solar, solar, solar. So the next row would be there. Oh, it fits perfectly. It's almost like I planned it. Uh, well, most of it. Uh, yeah, watch all the debris fly away. Okay, uh, at the lightning speed that we run at. Like, max game speed. Yeah, that, that's... Yeah, we're, we're not moving fast. Uh, we are 89% for advanced propulsion. And actually, wow. We can... First off, we can plug in the damn batteries. That'd help. Uh, so you're running at max power. Uh, we can get rid of you of you we can probably crank the power on that without a problem yep and we can also merchant ship uh what do you have you have not well actually no i don't really want quartz i want silicon uh okay we're gonna buy all of that thirteen thousand. uh and i'll sell you the four coffee beans i have access to and uh that's gonna be absolutely it uh, but I like rock. Rock is great in the fact that it, you have no idea what's in it, and therefore when you process it, you have a chance of just about everything. And that's where I've got not quite all my uranium from, but a majority of it. Uh, we have two and a half thousand. Okay. We probably want an extra grinder. Yeah, this is why I left this gap, so because I wasn't sure. Uh, but I think... Like, don't get me wrong, we still have a lot of production to build and place and, and, and things to do, uh, and, and planners to plant, uh, but I think we're definitely not stable. Definitely not stable. Uh, who, what, huh? Oh, you mix, you, you reached your transistor limit, and then we probably use some. Uh, I, I, I don't think we're stable. I, I, anything but stable. But we're definitely doing a whole lot better than we were at the start of the episode. Um, we have, obviously, new particle collectors going in, which I... You know what? We're just going to set this row to... Wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. We're going to set this row to copper. Uh, yep, yeah, that's going to be my plan. And these ones will set to quartz. It's a little bit more power hungry, uh, but I also need quartz to make glass. Um, that's going to be also on the list of things I need to do. Uh, but yes, we have like, deliveries are done. Like we have, um, I say that we have a lot of haulers, and they're good at getting the deliveries done. Not quite as good as maybe we need them to be, but they're quite good. Uh, we construction is definitely what's holding us up, and it's just I think due to well the extreme lack of things getting plugged in. Uh, the extreme lack of, well, too many tasks. I think actually it's entirely too many tasks. It's, it's me being uh, too generous with the list of things that I'd really like the robots to get done. But they are getting it done. They are getting it done bit by bit. Uh, also, we're harvesting more plants and stuff. So that is a goal as well. And these are done as well. So we're going to move you to face that direction. You to face that direction. And you... To face that direction. Uh, also, I need to, well, uh, we'll wait. We'll wait till they catch up on everything and then we'll mass de deconstruct those, I think. Uh, yes. Uh, so it means hopefully in the next episode, well, definitely the next episode, we should have advanced propulsion up and running. We should have a large section of our production chain up and running as well. Uh, which means, in theory, as we find more traders, because we're going to be doing a whole lot of trading, uh, this is why we have, well, so many of these guys. Uh, can I get a ore trader, a journalist trader, a oil trader, uh, and a, I don't know, um, 
Slaver, sure. Uh, we're going to find out what Slavers sell in the next episode. But yes, uh, with a, a large production up and running, these guys up and running, we're still definitely negative on getting resources in. So we're still definitely going to be um, limited to what speed we can fly to places and mine places or buy places. But we're definitely much, much, much more profitable. And just as importantly, uh, much more energy positive. Uh, and also have... Plenty of robots we can sell off all the time. Uh, also means I can crank up the power on that one. Should a meat bag want to come over here and this one. Also, I'm hoping that if I improve the aesthetics in the area, maybe the meat bags will actually like run some of these machines. Because I've built them so many machines to do so many things and they just don't show up for work. Um, but yeah, I need to leave this episode here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. Come back for next episode where we finally get some decent engines. Uh, also... Well, we're, we're, we're going to be turning a profit. We're going to be turning a profit whether uh, they like it or not. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Thanks for watching. See you next one. Bye.